All right, so after thinking about it, looking at the data more deeply, I think Monday Night Storm in for New York, the Katia area, Boston and such, it's going to be kind of nasty, like worse than expected. Do I think it's going to be like hurricane level and knock down entire cities? No, no, I don't. But because it is the Thor save, Thor news, fundraiser period of the month, I do every month, and I'm $200 away from making my goal, I will be talking about whatever I want, whenever I want. Because either A, I'm going to be so successful, I'm going to reach my goal, or B, I'm not, and it's just over anyways. So that's fantastic. So yeah, we still got a lot of flooded rivers, 58, I guess that's a minor amount. That's actually the lowest amount I've seen on here in two or three months. But you still have rivers flooded in the East Coast, and we have wave after wave after wave of storms coming. And so for this video, I was looking at the actual storm that is over the United States right now, going, wow, that that's pretty big. And the whole thing is, they're going to continue to move east. And so when you get this giant squall liney thing to the left, when it hooks up with here, it's going to punch out. That's a bad color. I'll go with yellow. But they're going to combine. I mean, they may not. They may stay separated. But I think they're going to combine like Quetzalcoatl and punch out and up New York City. And so, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, the NAM has it best. So where the NAM is the only one that has them combining. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Smoke them if you got them. So that looks like more rain trouble for parts of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And I've heard there are still areas of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia that are in deep trouble and need a lot of help. But did you watch that? That is go forward. And so this area is going to be, because our models haven't been doing that great, predicting future weather. And sometimes when I say future, I mean six hours out, bro. And so that is a heavy, nasty area of rain. It lightens up as it moves out. But I'm saying you could see flooding problems in New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia. And that's why I don't think this part of the storm, and, and that's on top of wind, tornadoes. Right there, that's going to be a pretty nasty squall stretch if this is correct. And so, and that, then you got another big storm behind it on the 5th. It's still Monday, so this is Monday night, I guess. And then into Tuesday, so that the next storm is almost right behind the next one. So I'm guessing by the time election day is over, you're going to have a lot of areas that have some cleaning up picking up and making up to do now this is the Monday at 4 p.m. this is the GFS it too kind of now has it hooking up the two systems hooking up but not as bad and it keeps the heavier rain off the coast though I don't think that's gonna happen I think they're gonna hook up and combine but then look how fast the next storm comes in after it. And remember, these squall lines are going to have some pretty nasty wind and possible tornadoes. And the thing that causes the worst of this shit is when you get the cold cold rubbing up against the hot hot and it causes friction. An insane atmospheric instability and so the, the oceans still pretty hot if you will click I could show my people 79 is definitely hot enough for hurricane 80 now there are no hurricanes on the map right now but I'm just saying I'm extending my hurricane watch to like the middle of December I have a funny feeling we could see a hurricane in December. 
And so when the two patterns are fighting, the heat versus the cold, that's when you're going to get your weirdest, severest weather. And everybody's pretty convinced we got a pretty big polar plunge coming. So here is Monday's severe weather. And so while everybody's being properly informed about that, I think it's going to be more damaging as it moves out. And y'all on the East Coast, you guys need to be aware. That's all I'm saying. It's brought to us by Tevin Wooten. Woot woot. Monday's severe weather. All modes are possible, especially evening. That means rain, sleet, snow, tornadoes, UFOs, and funky bonks in the canunk shunks. Sometimes I like to make words up. Have a safety plan. A way to get your severe weather warnings if your power goes out. For Arkansas, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Remember, this is going to move east. It is expected to lose some power, but it'll still pack a punch. The threat for severe storms will really start to increase Monday for parts of the lower Mississippi River Valley. Ahead of a dynamic storm in the election system that will bring a threat for tornadoes around Nashville and Memphis. I'm going to Nashville. I've never been. I hear it's nice, though. Hey, but some people are having a great weekend. Man, those are nice pants. Those look comfortable. Those pants look comfortable. Okay. And so here, Mark Tarello tells us, Hey, ice fishing fans, great ice making weather. Late this week into next weekend, with low temperatures in the teens across southern Minnesota. I've never been ice fishing. I've been fishing. It's pretty boring. I bet ice fishing is like the same, except much colder. I know people who fish. I'm not... It seems like a great way to commune with nature, and it's a peaceful thing. I'm not knocking fishermen. I wish I liked fishing, but I don't like killing things. Not even fish. Stephen Eckhart, the Euro, just dumping cold into the southeast next week. This is something I would expect to see on the 18Z GFS. Man, the GFS is like the red-headed stepchild. Everybody likes to pick on it. And in my opinion, it seems to do as well as everything else. Though, funnily, that's not a word, funny, the Euro is the one you got to pay for. And so these guys all give us the information because they pay for it. So yeah, of course, the one that works is the one you got to pay for. Although, you guys, we all paid our taxes and shit, so... You'd think, in the $21 trillion worth of debt, not counting the actual taxes paid, we would have decent systems to use for free. Although the GOES is pretty cool, though it doesn't predict things in the future. GOES 16 water vapor. Imagery depicts a, south, a shortwave trough, darker colors, approaching Colorado from the northwest. This feature is forcing accumulating snowfall and strong winds across the central Colorado mountains. Look at the force that thing is coming in on. And yeah, that is punching all that nasty weather downtown. So it's almost like you got three systems coming in. Something to be mindful of and watch out for. Now we're looking at the Euros version. Because it's so much fun. We're going to start now. Sunday, 10 p.m. How are you doing? What are you wearing? I'm never going to get tired of that joke. Okay, so yeah, it too keeps the majority of the rain off, although it has the two combining. And I, I personally think that storm could be nastier. And then you have the nasty storm moving out Tuesday night. So Monday night's going to be stormy, and then Tuesday night's going to be stormy, and then we're going to have to look at shit. And then you have your third storm on Wednesday, racked up and loading. The earlier models had this being the worst of the storms. I made a video before saying three storms in eight days. And so it had that one. Actually, now it looks like four. But as you can see, it's going to be a real rainy period. This is almost a storm a day. That's what I'm talking about. A storm a day. That's where we're at in the wave after wave after wave pattern. Although there is supposed to be a high pressure. I guess that's a cold zone. Yeah, maybe that's what they're talking about. That may be... Yeah, and then here comes the, the cold plunge. And then you would get maybe, hopefully, some calmer weather. But, so yeah, right now it's looking at a storm a day this week. 
But hey, who would expect anything less during election week? I mean, shit, it has been leading up to it. It has been nothing but strife. Oh no, now everybody knows I'm in Houston. And shit, I just run through it one more time. So that, that we have a Monday storm. It's going to be pretty nasty. And look at the storm right behind it, man. And we got, that'll become a Tuesday storm. And then look, you got your Wednesday storm here. I highly recommend Cranky Weather Guy. He gave up on Twitter. Understandably, man, people are attacking people from all around, especially if you're good at stuff. Is your Wednesday storm? I'll leave a link to his blog in my information box. It'll be below my PayPal link, though. That is where you can go to give contributions or donations over these next 11 and a half hours to help me raise $200 to make rent. Every dollar counts. I'm probably not going to check messages or my PayPal account until early in the morning. So I don't lose faith or hope. So I can keep it a cheery demeanor. So yeah, you pretty much got some nasty weather up until Saturday every single day. So that is interesting. And that is the reason I'm making this video. So pretty much, yeah, if you're in this area, expect some, that's a weird shape. Expect some shitty weather all week, man. That's all I'm saying. What the hell is that? What are you doing? Did I get out too soon? And then we got a giant solar storm hitting us right now. You go to spaceweather.com. Geomagnetic storm in progress. Almost a day later than expected, Earth is entering a stream. Oh, man. I was reading stuff. Yeah, that is... The coronal hall we have has caused a geomagnetic storm, which is going to make, and usually, because this is the same coronal hall, I learned this from Tabitha Scove, who is awesome. Whoa, look at that, dude. Look how nasty. That is, yeah, that one's pretty deep. There's no red yet, but that one's carved in pretty tight. So Tabitha Scove said, this will be the fourth time that coronal hall, I guess I should show it. This will be the fourth time the Colonel Hall has faced us at high noon. Nah, I made that up. And so, usually about a week or eight to ten days after. So here's the Colonel Hall right there. And this is the fourth time it's faced us. And usually about eight to ten days after the Colonel Hall faces us. Wait, I'm sorry. The solar wind speed takes three to four days to get here. Even Tamitha was mentioning that this geomagnetic storm was late by like a day. Because solar wind is weird. And so, usually a week to ten days after we get hit by the solar wind, it shakes up the upper atmosphere and then it kind of vorticities down through the atmosphere. And so, usually about two weeks after the coronal hole, we get some pretty nasty, nasty weather. And so, if you think the weather's bad now, wait a week or two. Hey, that'll be right around Thanksgiving. That's okay. I don't really have any plans. And I don't think I'm getting invited to my Thanksgiving with the family this year. It's hard being a YouTuber. If you're talking about weather and military and oil industrial complexes. Because everybody else is like, voting solves everything. You want to know how to solve all the problems? Voting. And then I'm like, wait, haven't we voted for 200 years? So then why do we have all these problems if voting solves shit? <sighs> and then you got another giant crow hole coming after. Yeah, big storms. Man, what a crazy time. But don't get down because Jupiter is about to go into Sagittarius. And so comedy's coming back, the truth is coming back, good times are coming back. And I think Jupiter's kind of pissed. 
because people have been shitty. He's tired of shitty people. And Jupiter's a man, dude. Male. So, I don't think this... I think we'll find balance again. And balance sounds great to me. Anyway, so we got storm after storm after storm. Wave after wave after wave. Coming your way. And so, if you are in the area, just stay aware. That's all I'm saying. And so, what do I want to point out here? I want to point something out. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, dude, this is just... So you got... This is one of the streams. That's not a good color. Okay, so this is one of the streams here. Right? There's a lot of moisture. And then you got this moisture coming in. And luckily, we don't have a lot of Gulf moisture loading in yet. That could change. And so, yeah, it's going to be a stormy week, brother. And ma'am. Sister. So I want everybody to stay cool. And be cool. But watch that. If you get help, stop doing that. Thank you. Yeah, and so it's just going to keep reloading. Look at that thing moving. You notice how it just pours the assisting moisture. Because we have exploding volcanoes down here. I'm sorry, they're not exploding, they're erupting. There's a big difference between them. And then you got a volcano range here. And you got a volcano range here. Crazy times indeed. Oh, also, due to the geomagnetic storm, there's a chance we will see an increase in earthquakes. And possibly a six earthquake or higher in magnitude. I love you guys. You guys are cool. So yeah, if you have the will and the means and want to help contribute to Thor News, save me. I last checked my bank account at 5 and I still need $200. I'll we'll check again at 7 in the morning. And any all dollars help? Although I know a lot of famous people watch me. I don't know why they don't ever donate, though. I mean, I understand why they, like, they don't want to date me because nobody wants to be like, oh yeah, my boyfriend's a YouTuber. It's like if you were the biggest pop star in the world, you wouldn't want to tell people, oh yeah, my boyfriend's a 50, you know, he's got 50,000 subscribers and he talks about weather and uniting humanity. That's not that sexy. And then I think all the big pop stars have to answer to the Coca-Cola Corporation anyways. So like they have to get their boyfriends approved through Coca-Cola, at least if they want to introduce them to the public. Um, so maybe that's why they don't donate. Like that didn't make any sense. Anyway. If, if you want, if not, if you're poor, like most of the people in the United States are not poor, just not well to do. You never know if you have enough money, especially if a health scare comes up. Then prayers or good thoughts or just I love you's will help. Okay. All right. I might not even be checking my messages or the comments in the videos till tomorrow because this is the time usually when people come out and make unfounded accusations or try and be like, ha ha, you failed. And I'm like, okay. I don't want anybody chipping away at my energy. I want to have fun if this is my last day. Although, you know, who knows? I have faith in you guys. And I did an amazing job in October and September leading us through hurricane season. So, God is good. And you guys are great. Although I'm not saying you're better than God. I was using alliteration. And sometimes I like to say things that sound well when they put together. So, it kind of rhymed, but in a consonant kind of way okay now i'm just talking crazy everybody stay cool i'll be talking to you all night long